money got longer, speaker got louder, car got faster. This turned to a savage, fucker got fatter, she got me dad. So I did do like a snapchat mini tutorial about this and I decided that I really liked how it came out so I would make a YouTube video about it. So right now I'm priming my eyes with the NYX glitter primer. And to set that in I'm going to be taking the color tempera. And just placing that all over my lid so that it's easier to blend out all the colors. And also, this is going to highlight my brow bone. So the first color I'm going to be taking, and if you guys did see my Snapchat um, like mini tutorial, if you want, you can add me on Snapchat. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to be placing that on my crease, and this is going to be a transition color. So just blend that in. I'm going to be placing it as if it were like a, like a cat eye winged eyeliner. You know what I mean. So yeah, just like that and smoke it out. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking the color Antique Bronze. And I'm actually going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brush that came in the palette. And I'm going to be using that and I'm going to be placing it on my lid and using it to blend out the dark brown color. Next, I'm going to be taking ColourPop's... Um, Millionaire, and this is the real star of the show. This is what puts the whole look together. I think it's my favorite color from ColourPop. It looks like this. Super cute. And I love it. So you're going to take a flat brush. I feel works best with these kinds of eyeshadows. And I'm just going to place it in the center of my lid. More like all over my lid. Let's just put it all over the lid. Then the next color I'm going to be taking is Real Girl, which is like an orange color and I'm going to be using this to lightly warm up the whole eye look. So I kind of just dust as much as I can off and then I pat it into the crease part of my eye. Like I said, this is just to warm it up and kind of blend everything together. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara or you can apply your falsies. So this is what it looks like with my eyelashes curled. This whole look really comes together once I do my whole face. <laughs> so for primer today, I'm going to be using the Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation Primer. I, I actually really liked it. It kind of reminds me of the Professional. It has that same like soft, blurring texture kind of feel. foundation I'm going to be using my favorite foundation which is the infallible pro matte foundation I seriously have not found another foundation I like more than this like high-end drugstore like neither one this is my favorite foundation and yeah I really love this you guys it's like a game changer I feel so um another thing like I have not found my beauty blender like I have no idea where my beauty blender is so I'm going to be using these brushes they work pretty well too so yeah just blend it all over your face okay so for concealer i'm gonna be using the fit me concealer honestly my foundation routine is pretty much exactly the same as it always has been like, I changed little things. Um, I will repeat what I did in my last video because I have gotten a lot of questions on why I bake after everything. So this is my, has been my favorite brush to bronze. It's by e.l.f. It was $10, but $10 well spent. Milani. XL bronzer 
So yeah. So after bronzing, that is when I highlight. I've been loving the Strobe of Genius palette by NYX. I really do think it's worth the $20. So yeah, just carefully pat it in. Another big question I've been getting is why I bake after I do everything. And my reason for that is that two and I explained them in my last video but I'm all explain them again when you put the powder over your highlight it makes it gives it that effect that your highlighter is coming underneath your skin instead of just having the highlighter like packed on top of your skin and just setting on top of your skin if that makes sense and it looks more cakey I feel when you put the powder over it it really makes it look like you're glowing underneath like your skin is glowing and you don't just have makeup on top that's like glittery so that's why and it also really makes your highlighter last so much longer so that is why I bake um after and on top of my highlight just like that and while my face bakes that's when i do my eyebrows and then my lips the anastasia dip brow in dark brown i am thinking about going to um ebony the color ebony because it's just more of a cool tone color that i feel will match my black hair more if that makes sense so yeah just kind of like my eyebrows like seriously i don't even use concealer right now because they're so just like they're done To set my brows, the brow gel I'm going to be using is, is the Ulta Brow Gel. So yeah, I actually really like it. It works really well. I used it the other day and I really liked it. I really feel like it really did lock in my hair. My brow hair. Mm -hmm. Need to dust off everything. Step as to spray it in just to lock everything in. Mm. That's my favorite part. So, this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye. <laughs> Daddy, you got me daddy, that daddy, you got me daddy, that daddy, you got me daddy, that daddy, you got me daddy.